Hi, this is Mark from Show Me Construction, and today I'm going to paint the door I put in uh, that you've seen in the last video that I, that I uh, put up. And I've already puttied the holes uh, right now so they can be drying. I just puttied them with my finger uh, and some spackle. And I'm going to sand these, sand this up and caulk the joints. I'm going to tape off the hinges and I'm going to start painting. When I puttied the holes, I used this paint and patch, this DAP paint and patch, dries in 30 minutes, lightweight spackle. And I just put it on, I just dipped my finger in it and applied it with my finger. And if you notice, I, I didn't I didn't make them smooth because when you try to rub it off with your finger, you divot, you divot the hole. You make a little dent in it. So you want to leave it up a little bit, built up, and then that's what you come back and sand off in about 30 minutes to an hour. You sand it off when it's dry, and then there, that way the, your surface is nice and flat. And at this point, I'm going to take 220 sandpaper and just start sanding over these joints. Just sanding the, sanding the putty off that I put in, the lightweight spackle. It makes the surface much smoother and flatter than trying to just do it with your finger. And the important thing is, you want to be sure to do this before you caulk the joints because caulking doesn't sand real well. And we're going to do this to the jam and of course the other side of the door, it's the same, you do it the same way. Okay, I lightly sanded this door, I, uh, and that's one thing. If, when you have a new door and new woodwork that's pre-primed, uh, after you do your spackling and it dries, you need to sand it, just lightly sand it with 220, and then lightly sand the door uh, because you want to make sure you get all the oils off your, off your hand uh, by handling it or off, that they're off. And of course, then we're going to wipe it down just with a, a really damp, uh, cloth just to get the dust off the the sanding dust but that's important to understand that if you uh, wait to paint the door for weeks or months you're probably going to have to take a little more time cleaning it and sanding it before you paint it uh, and you might it might even then have to prime it this is a pre-primed door so all I'm going to do is put two coats of paint on it I'm not going to prime it but I did sand, lightly sand it and I'm going to wipe it down before I start painting And now I'm going to caulk the joints with this Alex Plus Latex Painter's Caulk. And I just cut a little tip, a little, I just cut very little bit of the tip off. You know, you don't want to cut the tip very big. You don't want a big bead of caulk to caulk these joints. You're just going to have to wipe it all out. It's just going to make a mess.
Okay, now that I have it all caulked and puttied, and of course, again, I emphasize you need to putty it and sand it before you caulk it. And then, but now that that's done, while that caulk is drying, I'm going to tape off these hinges. Um, it just helps me so I don't have to be as careful with the painting when I'm going around it. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape over it. And then I'm going to come back with my utility knife and cut around this. And it just helps so when I'm using a brush, I don't have to be as careful around these hinges. And that's pretty much it. And I'm going to do all the hinges the same way. Okay, I got the hinges taped off and uh, taped them off on both sides. Just on the back and on the face. Just where I'm going to use a, a brush and roller. Now, if you were going to spray these doors, which most painters would do, um, but if you don't have a sprayer and you're going to use a brush and roller, as I'm going to do, you, you could be careful enough not to have to tape these off. But I, I, I tape them off because it's going to be easier for me to, to paint this and roll it without having to worry about getting it on the hinges because I'm not going to take the hinges off the door. I'm going to paint it in place. So, and so now I'm going to get ready and mix up my paint and start putting it on. I'm going to use this solo brand from sherwin williams it's a solo interior exterior um 100 acrylic and i'm going to use it to paint the the door the jam and the trim but i'm also going to use this additive it's a latex uh, extender and what it does it gives you a little more working time to brush it on and roll it on and also, it, 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 as it's drying, it'll help to lay it down so you don't see the brush strokes. And that's why I'm adding it. And you just, I'm just going to go according to the directions. It's uh, two to six ounces per gallon. So I'm going to put two to six ounces, or I'll put about four ounces in, I guess, in my gallon of paint here. And then I'm going to start brushing. And the way I'm going to brush it, I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to brush the centers first, the center around all this. And I'm going to take a, have a, a damp rag with me. If I get any paint on this flat part, I'm going to wipe it off because I don't want any paint on this right here with the brush. I'm just going to paint inside this uh, raised panel look. And then after that's done, then I'm going to go over it with the six inch roller over all the flat surfaces and I'll do the edges. But anyway, I'm going to get set up and mix it up in my paint. And I'm going to put this... Uh, spout guard on here because I don't want to get my paint all over the side of my can it just snaps onto the inside rim and then you can pour it into a into a bucket or wherever you're going to pour it I'm going to pour some in rest of that I'll run back down into the paint can
when you're painting, you just want to make sure that when you get your paint on, the last thing you want to do is just run a run a stroke, one long straight stroke down it. The reason I'm wiping this off, the edge of the, the flat part is so when I roll it, you don't want the paint to dry on here because you will see that edge. Okay, I'm going to do both sides the same way, and then I'm going to roll on the flat. Okay, now I'm going to use a 6-inch uh, ruler, 6-inch um, wide, but it's quarter-inch nap, and I'm going to go over the smooth part of the door. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to put on a second coat. Okay, now I'm going to start putting the second coat on. And basically I'm just going to do the same thing like I did on the first coat. I'm going to do this inside first. And again, the last one you want to take a just a sweep. You get it up on the edges, just wipe it off. You want to try not to get the brush surface or the brush marks on this surface if you can help it. 
And if you do, if you get on there, just take your, your thumb or your finger and wipe it off. Or if you have a damp rag, And then uh, we're just going to go over this whole thing again, second coat. The reason I wiped that off is that <clears throat> you'll see that ridge when it dries. If there is a little ridge, a little paint ridge, it'll show up when the door dries if you leave it on this surface. Okay, now I'm going to do a second coat on the jam. I just did the, it's the same as the door in that you want to put the paint on and then your last stroke, you want to make long, even strokes. So it lays down even when it completely dries. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use touch-up paint on the wall here. It's just easier to cut in the wall than it is this trim against that wall there. So and I don't I don't recommend sponge brushes. I, I don't use them. I know some people do, but I just use a regular paintbrush like this. Well, one for one for this type of paint. And there you have it. I mean, if I'm going to finish this jam here out, this side, do the trim on this other side, and do a flat part on these doors, just like I did the first, and this uh, door and jam will be done. Well, there it is. I got all the painting done and got it cleaned up and got the hardware back on. I hope you enjoyed this video, and, I, and, if, I, and if, you, if I've helped you, you can hit the subscribe button below, and again, uh, you can 
I'll bring these videos as they come up. Thanks for watching. I'll put this, put the door handle back on and I'll take it off and we're ready to paint it. I think I already did a video where I was putting a doorknob in, so this is called bonus footage. Success.